and the kids for a war. Army chic in high fashion stores. Law and order's done their job. Prison to love, a rich to rob. Assassination politics. Violence rules within our nation's midst. Well, ignorance is their power tool. You'll only know what they want you to know. The television cannot lie. Controlling media with smokescreen eyes. The clear politicians' picture show. The acting's lousy, but the blind don't know. Open your eyes, see the lies right in front of you. Hi, you're watching to Programming Hour. Today we are in the studios at m and on 59th Street with singer-songwriter Kelly King. She's going to do a few of her original country music songs for us, and then we're going to have a chat with her and get to know her better. Please enjoy the show. Hello to Programming Hour. Thanks for having me. My name's Kelly King. Too worried.
ain't no stars there ain't no silver lining just the click clack tapping and the sound of the pullman call there ain't no roads in this Called a westbound engine on a one-way track And the road the steel is all I need Just the howl of the wind through an old boxcar Drinking my dinner from a mason jar Hoping we'll make it there by morning Hoping we'll make it there by morning
folks like you. Oh, Bonnie, come home. Bonnie, come home. Bonnie, come home. Bonnie, come home. I am from Texas. Most of what I write is about Texas, inspired by Texas. I've lived in New York City four years now, and it feels like home, too. So this little song is about two of my favorite, uh, favorite places. I want to give a big uh, thank you to Miss Catherine for having me in the programming hour.
Thank you so much, Deprogramming Hour. So uh, thanks for being on the show, Kelly. Thank you for having me, Catherine. We've been talking about this for a while, so it's good that you yeah. finally made it in. Yeah, finally, huh? So I just want the audience in Manhattan, Brooklyn, on the web to get to know you a little bit better, so let's have a conversation. I know you actually from... Um, San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, well, I don't know you from <laughs> there, but I know you from the open mic scene. Yes. Yes. I know you from the back fence, and it's yes. almost been two years since I stumbled in there. Wow, that's because amazing. I still had sawdust on the floor. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. I was like, it's. I thought it was about two years. Yeah, it's almost two years now. It was like, uh, it was August, I think, of uh, yeah. 2000. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we only have a month left. I know. Every <laughs> Sunday, back fence, open mic, mm -hmm. six for to uh, for forever. Yeah. yeah. Till the end of the month. So it's 22nd. I yes. Guess. So how long have you been playing music? Well, it's, it's, it's funny how, how you would define that, because I, I'm self-taught. I bought my first guitar um, <laughs> at a garage sale for a dollar. Wow. And, um, Score. Yeah. <laughs> I graduated to the $36 uh, guitar that I got from the border towns in Texas. And, and then I got this one. So in uh, 98 is when I got a good enough guitar to get out and start playing. OK. So my first open mic was like 2000. And then, um, and then I stopped for a while, and I didn't get back out until about 2006. And um, in the meantime, I had done some recording with a gentleman in Boston, Jim Bouchard, um, under the name The Fritters. And we just emailed stuff. This is when I lived in Texas. Um, and we, we got together enough material that I was like, I'm going to go on out to open mics and check this out. So officially been playing out at open mics and in public since 2006. So okay. Bit of a novice, even though I'm a little, uh, bit, little bit of a late bloomer. Yeah. So to speak. Well, you know, a lot of people start. You know, you get to the not party everybody when you starts can. as a child. You know. Yeah. And, and then, then a lot of times, if they do, they change it up, and then they do something totally different as an adult. So, what's your inspiration for music? Like, uh, you you wrote five songs about trains before you even wrote a train. Wrote a train. It's true. But my, my family has a history with railroads. My grandfather worked on the railroad, and my mother always spoke highly of trains and traveling by train. And it always, we always visited the depot, her home depot in Van Buren, Arkansas. And um, it, it has a history with my family. And those songs, it was really funny. We just got on a roll, and within three days, wrote those songs and recorded them. And wow, there's five some songs of my in favorite. three days? Yeah, we just, <laughs> and the way they're recorded, they're basically demos, but they're with a dear, dear friend of mine, Mike Phelan, who's down in Texas battling cancer right now. Oh, I'm sorry. And um, yeah. No, but I'm really proud of those recordings. They're really great. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It's all about people in Texas. And it sounds very professional. I have that CD. Thanks, yeah. thanks. And I can't wait to hear the rest of it on CD, you know, so I can put on yeah, my iPod, yeah, yeah. The, the newer stuff. My inspiration is, is uh, <clears throat> aside from therapy, because I generally write from, a, from my own perspective. I'm not, you know, I'm just coming from trying to turn experience, what I'm feeling, in, into song and word, and um, to share with other so people. So your emotions are your inspiration? Definitely, my emotions are the, uh, the uh, inspiration, but, but the political system as it is, is truly what got me off my couch and out sharing songs, because I found that songs are a good way to challenge. Right. Um, history is rewritten all the time, and songs are a great way to you know, archive certain aspects. I found that like normal people, you know, who are political junkies like me and you, they don't want to listen to politics anyway unless it's in some art form. It has to be in a TV show, a movie, or it a song. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing, right? It's like you have to. Uh, you have to. You have dress to sneak it, it into. Yes, exactly. You really do. I mean, yeah. it's one way. Certainly, we shouldn't need to be sneaky anymore. <laughs> They're the ones that are being yeah, sneaky. Yeah, but there are but some people who rather watch Honey Boo Boo and the Kardashians truly. rather than watch. PBS NewsHour, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, even I, PBS NewsHour, I, I watch Democracy Now!, but sometimes I like skip it because it's depressing. You Absolutely, know? no, without a doubt. In fact, Catherine, the first song I wrote that started with Jim, which was got me, got me writing again, was about Andrea Yates, very unpopular figure. Okay. But it was very, very sad because she was really, she was in Texas, she was at the mercy of a horrible mental health system. Okay. And she had no business, you know, having five children in such a short time. And I found telling these stories was a way of correcting people's understanding about things and, and kind of asking you to open your heart 
to something else you might not know about this story. Hence the Bonnie Parker, too. Right. You know, she was... Um, she was troubled. Not all bad. She was troubled. She was absolutely <laughs> troubled. She got in with Public the wrong enemy. people. <laughs> she surely did. The wrong man. She surely did. Um, so we talked about the open mics. You have actually a pretty interesting hobby aside from music. <laughs> I went to your house. I oh, got to visit you once, and uh, you showed me some treasures. Your, yeah. your, I live up in Inwood, <laughs> which uh, is the nosebleed section of Manhattan. Very few people uh, claim to, to know where this, this mystical place of Inwood is. But um, it is uh, the last stop on the A train. And there's a protected forest there that is the, that is the uh, last piece of natural forest on Manhattan, as you know, Central Park's right, engineered. Right. This is all primeval. I mean, this is, this is how it looked then. Right. This is where the Manhattan Indians made their deal with um, Peter. Uh, up in, uh, you know, for That's a myth. 20 Come on. Well, <laughs> they've got a tree. They, it's you know, a legend. They, it's a legend. Exactly. <laughs> up there in those hills, though, um, are great little sites to dig around. I just noticed as I was walking through, I'd see some shards of pottery or shards of, you know, old china. And the more I dug, the more I found. And I found all kinds of little, I mean, they're all broken artifacts. You know, You're an archaeologist. I do. I'm a little Indiana <laughs> Kelly. Yeah, yeah, my my dog hates it when I turn into Indiana <laughs> Kelly, mind you. But they're all just like broken little shards. It was a, a dump, basically. So there's a lot of refuse in those under those leaves. Well, it's not that are all just shards. You gave me a beautiful bottle for my oh, birthday. Yeah. A jar, yeah, 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 jar. Yeah, we thick, found the jar. Really old jar. Yeah. Yeah, we found a solid jar. So, if people want to hear more. If people want to hear more, I am out there. You have to really kind of look for me because I did a, I did a, the Do you the have anything on the send. internet? That I do, over okay. at SoundCloud, Bandcamp. I'll put some links up on your Facebook page. Well, I'll put them up on this episode. It'll oh, be yeah. right, right beneath us and right Reverb here. And Reverb Nation under okay. Kelly King Music. Okay. Kelly King Music with an I. And you'll find lots of stuff out there. You can also Google the fritters and you'd find a bunch more stuff out there. And um, yeah. So, working on all of that though, Kathy. So you do so much, like you've actually beaded your um, oh. guitar strap, and so you're an artist in many levels, but what do you want to be remembered for in the end? Because you do, so oh, and I forgot to mention, you used to have a TV show in Texas. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome Which, to this three bedroom, two bed, <laughs> single family house. Yes, a real estate show, um, where you, you were like a one man band, or there was like a three person There were three crew? of us, okay. Brenda Pena, Michelle okay. Brown, we, uh, we took care of that, and okay. um, yeah, we did it for seven years. Um, I don't know, what I, I'd really just like to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, uh, as a good person, okay. you know, a yeah. good person who was there for her friends, for her family, for the people she loved. Yeah. I'm like... Well, I'm pleased to have met you because you're one of the sweetest people uh, and honest and nice people. people that I've met in a long time, so it's really nice. You and Pam and some of the other people. It's been a great, it's been yeah. a great run there. It's been a lot of yeah. fun. I hope you guys will come down and visit us before it closes. Yes. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure I will see you at the last few open mics and hopefully more after that. We're going to have a craft party. I absolutely can't okay. wait. Can't wait. All right. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of people out there feeling awful bad. And uh, there's only one thing to do when you're in that situation. good at feeling bad Don't need to go out on the town Who needs up when I got down? Oh, it's no use I'm getting good at feeling bad Tell Mr. Bluebird I said hello Tell Happy Day times my regards and say I hope to see him around as for me I'll be just fine and I don't need a new 
dress, don't need new shoes, don't need nothing but these walking blues. Oh, it's no use. I'm getting good at feeling bad. Save my money, I stay at home. Just kick back and take it slow. Oh, it's priceless. I'm getting good at feeling bad. Tell Mr. Bluebird I said hello. Tell Happy Days I said hi. Give good times my regards and say I hope to see you Tell Mr. Bloomberg it's time to go. Tell the MTA they must be high. Give Broadway my regards and say I hope to see them round. As for me, not as. and quiet. I'm getting good at feeling bad. Who needs pleasure? I got pain. Who needs sunshine when I got rain? Oh, it's no use. I'm getting good at feeling no use. I'm getting good at feeling no use. I'm getting good at feeling You have been watching to Programming Hour. Please tune in again in two weeks, same time, same channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Have a good night.